here. Uh, how do you do that? Have you got VLC? Uh, what are you using? Yeah, I got, I got uh, VLC, yeah. Okay, file open network device, or network stream, sorry. Thanks for going live, Austin. Oh, no. All the bad swears. Save, like the, save, the, and dick. save the good swears for later. Yep. I see. Yep. Oh no, are we live? Oh no. <laughs> it's okay. Indeed. I can't, I can't believe that Remy said all the bad swears, but no one could I, hear. I, I read through the entire list of all of them. Did you know that there are more than eight? Including wow. the Z word, the rarely used Q word, and the Ooh. X, X, M, and the And words. some starting with letters that have yet been discovered by man. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get for warning us that you're going live with the countdown. Yeah. Me and Remy extensively workshop that great bit in the last four seconds. 
<laughs> you gave us just enough time. I see. To make up some bullshit. Anyway. Oh. Yeah. Room yeah. Well, uh, well, Halo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Halo 5, what is this there? The new RTS game is coming out? Ugh. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Halo Wars 2. Halo Wars 2. So, <laughs> Did you hear that first one, though? for those who don't know or who are watching on YouTube, Hello the Future, um. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, the future. So, could, you, could you tell me the winning lottery numbers? That would be fantastic, future. Thank you. Wait, no, sorry. If, if, that, if they're the future, are they the future or are we the future? They're the future. They're the, they're the future. future. We're the past. Okay. This has happened already. Why didn't you warn us about Elon Musk? And then no, that's that's up. current. That's that's too current. You see, we knew about that. Or wait, are you talking about like he might do something worse? Soon? Yeah, I'm I'm assuming that he has a volcano that's... base or something. Yeah, I don't think there's like yeah. I was thinking about it. there's not really a down point of like well I don't know maybe in the future's like hey maybe that Elon Musk turned into be a real nice guy somehow. I doubt it, but you don't know. Oh, it maybe... could he. Or, more likely, he turned into Syndrome from The Incredibles. <sighs> yeah. I gotta watch that movie. The second one. I've seen the first Yeah, apparently the second one has come out and everybody has realized that people it's... are unable to not talk about their horny yeah. feelings. Yeah. yeah anyway. That's good. Film reviewers being horny on main. Anyway. Yeah. I refuse. I can keep talk talking about, about the Credibles, but are we playing a game? Joey, yes, why don't you play a game? Playing, I was talking about the game and then we went off on a tangent about the Incredibles <laughs> and Elon Musk. The Incredible Elon Musk. No. Anyway. <laughs> so this is Rimworld. Uh, I grabbed a few people from my Discord, as you can tell, and asked them to build characters. To be sent on a space mission. A, a space mission where there would be no problems and everything would be cool. Anyway, we crash landed right. on this planet. Okay. Perfect. So who's the bear? Uh, nobody is the You're bear. You're in Baron Street? I just kind of figured at least one of your viewers here would be the bear. No. Also, um, I have a question be bad. About, about this game in general. I'm just going to say Prison Architect? Yeah, it does look a lot uh, like Prison Architect. Yeah, it's got some I of mean, that vibe to it. Yeah, okay. So it's not them. That's all I'm asking. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. So either. I'm looking up. Uh, People in the chat are up. noticing themselves. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, got, yes, you gotta just look down and you'll see yourself. We've got Claire, we've got Ithon, we've got Grimlock, we've got a few people who are named... <laughs> Things other than after the people who named them. Uh, Zarnel's up here, Drackle's here, and he's a very round boy, as he specifically requested. <laughs> so this is basically uh, just a modified normal start. I increased the amount of weapons and food that we get because the amount of... We well, you get three weapons in a normal start. And you get 44 uh, units of food, which would be enough to last us maybe 20 minutes. Cool. Uh, surprisingly, yeah, so I... col uh, colonies don't normally start with 14 people. Weird. Makes sense. Anyway, what did you discover, Remy? Uh, it says here that Prison Architect was made by Introversion... And I lost the other link. Not the other one. And uh, Ludian made this game. Yeah, which is just the name for one dude. Yeah, apparently one of the developers does say I, they drew some inspiration from uh, PA, but it's pretty much their own deal. Also, oh, Dwarf Fortress with those walls, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean that's fine. It's I mean, like yeah, this, but... this is how genres start in games. Am I allowed to start the game yet? Yeah. Um, stopping you. Yeah, so we've just landed. Uh, I have paused. May, I'm going to ask you a very difficult question now. Okay. Who dies? No. Should no. I be allowed to save? Uh, to yes. to pause. Ooh. Sorry. Yes. To pause? Yeah. 
This is already in Iron Man mode, so any mistakes we make, we make forever. I don't know, I like oh, yeah. the idea of you pausing, pause. and then... I think pausing is good, because then, you, like, you can pause and catch something, and just go, there's nothing I can do, as soon as I unpause, they're all dead. <laughs> everyone, everyone is turbo-fucked. Yeah, Yay! I mean, I think... I think pausing to be able to try and save a situation, especially when you have this, but, like, you can't go back in time to fix things. Okay, let's have a look at work. Let's see what everybody can do. So, there's a lot of information here. Like, a Holy lot. Holy moly. Yep. Um, that's... Oof. So, these are all the jobs people can do. Like, some of them are incapable of certain things, like, uh, Dot here... Um, very unhappy because I believe they're a night owl and there's lots of things they can't do. Lots of people who are incapable of hauling and cleaning. So I'm noticing there's different color check marks. Like, I assume there's nothing in the box. That just means they can't do it. The green check mark they can do, but like, what's the white boxes and then what's like the red boxes? Is white good stuff they're good at, or is that like yeah. real good at? And red, red means like I can do it, but I'm shit at it. Um. Okay. So the regular gray box is yeah, I can do this. Okay. Um, the one with the white outline is I'm really good at this, and the one with the red outline is we're shit at this. Okay, but this, in but a pinch, I'm not gonna be happy about it. Right. You just can't get people to do it if they don't have a check mark at all. Yeah, they they won't do the jobs that they aren't assigned to do. So like, okay. uh, Chrism here, uh, can be a prison warden, but isn't because they're not good at it. Uh, I see. Okay, so you, you could force them and train them or whatever. Yeah. It's a good Pokemon. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, so we've crash landed here. Oh, also we have a pet bear. Her name is Woodwind. Yes. So the bear is one of your crew. Yeah. It's a pet. It's not okay. a person. We well, also no. have somewhere. I don't know where she is, but we have a pet chinchilla. Probably you can buy the bear. Why are these things that you could do in the game? I mean, like, I get the idea of a bear because it's like it's wild and they're fair, but like, what purpose does a chinchilla serve in this game? I'm interested. They saw. Probably to eat vermin. They saw. True. I mean, if it's just to keep people happy, then that's... Yeah, also especially pets, in this game. Pets make people happy. Inside <laughs> I don't know. the tree dead the center. Bear. No, that's a revolver. <laughs> Chinchillas, in many ways, like six chamber weapons. Mm -hmm, Chinchillas mm -hmm. are not firearms. You don't know that. Uh, they but both a don't cool thing, they definitely do. A cool thing about bear, you can train it. To haul things for you, rescue people, um, and right. attack on command. And, like, animals that you can tame, you can train, like, in these things to varying levels, depending on their intelligence. Um, so this is kind of like the same thing you do with people, just, like, you can't tell them to be a tailor or a cook. Yeah. So, but... is this one smarter than an average bear? It, yeah. <laughs> it, it has average bear intelligence. Uh, no, that, that's, <laughs> that's not a chinchilla, that's a hair. I'm ignoring these uh, two. Um, I'm the worst. But the, the, the <laughs> I reason I bring that up is because we can actually train the chinchilla to attack on command. Sure, why not? We can have a oh. war chinchilla. Oh my god, yeah. That's very dwarf fortress. So, oh, I just found another random fact about this game. At one point, very early in development, it was called Starship Architect. So, uh... Well. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So Play first, the game! Yeah, first thing to do is... Not die? Well, yes. Because so far, you not pausing the game has gone real well. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm cool. explaining things. I get it. You know what, let's just unpause and... There's the chinchilla. There you go. She's, she's, she's called Lacey. Okay, so. Nudists are too clothed. We do have a nudist. They are <laughs> extremely okay. happy if they have no clothes. Is that going to make everyone else uncomfortable? Probably. 
Cool. We're also what minor break risk. I like the idea that this is like the far future with space travel and stuff, and you crash, you know, have a horrible emergency, you crash land on a planet, and the first person this guy, the first thing this guy does is like, finally, it takes off their clothes. There we go. I'm telling him to take off his clothes. Video games are out. There you go. He's now not wearing pants. <laughs> As my first action. Anyway. We're not going to set up any, like, food production or places to sleep. Nope. Going to tell that guy to get naked. Listen, he likes it. Don't, oh, don't yeah. set him as a chef or something, please. Okay, so... Wow. Hmm? A naked, shake, a naked cook chef reference. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm just always go with the logic of, like, never fry bacon while you're naked, but... So let's build. I agree, Bear. Did, did I see an option to cut someone's hand off? No. It looked like it, so... This isn't the U Testament. <laughs> it could be. I don't Why know. Why are you referencing M. Dickey? Because... In my house. Very said about getting a, getting a hand cut off, which is apparently the oh, my... punishment for everything in that game. I'm I'm lost to what you're referring to, so you don't there's... know who M. Dickey is. No. Uh, okay, so first thing, there's a game where you play as a rando in Jesus era, like Middle East. Um... Oh wait a minute, is this that weird one where it's just like it looks like it's made in poser or something? Uh, possibly. What was it called again? It's called the U Testament. Oh, okay, I think I've heard of this. The so Y-O-U. You're, you're, yeah, you're a rando in Jesus' era, like, Middle East. And oh, yeah, this you thing. Okay. Bump in, you bump into <laughs> Jesus, and you basically give him shit for a little bit until he gives you Hindu-oriented psychic powers. Um, <laughs> and Fine, you deal you can, with it. Uh, pretty much. You could do better. Well, you steal some of his precious life force by going near him, or something. I can't remember exactly what the explanation is. Because so remember, if you meet a god, just push them around long enough until they get until they get pissed off and give you all the powers. It's obviously it's just that, directly a god. Oh, um, here's a thing I modded in, oh. by the way. There is a story button here. It'll like tell us the story of what happened in our colony. Well, fancy. Oh. Um, and if we click on a colonist and go to social. They could, like you can see what they recently did. Um, was... Vivi hates most people in this colony because she's a misandrist and hates men. Nice. Yeah. But she did manage to explain, explain, exchange pleasantries <laughs> with Drackle. Well, you know. I, I would, even if I hated everyone I'm with, if I'm in some sort of catastrophic, stranded gilligan island situation this is why like in gilligan island they didn't kill gilligan so what i'm doing now is i'm just setting up housing like just very basic housing for these dudes that makes sense. everyone gets their own room does the pair get their own room uh there's eight rooms here i mean i can make some people share They better be careful, depending upon, because you have a nudist and somebody who apparently hates everyone with everyone here, so, uh... Don't pair them together, actually, thinking of it. Uh, there's also these, like, sort of half-finished... What are you two doing? <laughs> they're just admiring the water. Oh, they're just having <laughs> a conversation. There's th nothing going on. So don't worry about it, it's fine. <laughs> Chrism, colonists choose their own beds most of the time, so if you want to be bu uh, bunking with the nudist, you will be. Is it really hot? Is that why everything looks all wavy? Or is that like supposed to be trees waving? No, the trees are, are waving. If you zoom out, it sort of looks like they're doing like a weird wave thing. It, it kind of looked like heat 
uh, you know, like when somebody's really hot, does that wavy heat thing? What's that called? Uh, I think it's just heat waves. I know what you mean. Shimmer. Yeah. Shimmer, thank you. I knew you would know this. That's my favorite song by Austin Harvest. Fuel. That's, that's what the icon I saw looked like. It was like wheat being cut by scissors. It looked like an arm getting its hand cut off. Oh, look, the bear is helping. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. I thought I was picking a fox. Please do not misgender our bear. Her name is Woodwind. I apologize, bear. Okay, let's set out the beds. Woodwind has cornered a bunny. <laughs> the bear can use doors, though. Good job. Woodwind. Yes. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna screw up most names. I do apologize. Yeah, tame animals can use doors. S screw potty training them. It's uh, more important to teach them how a door works. Actually, that would probably solve that problem, thinking of it. Your dog needs to go out. Dog just uses the door. Okay, now I gotta do this thing. So, our hunters do not have ranged weapons, so... Equip that. Okay. For the record, um, I do have some mods, but they're not, like, overpowered stuff or anything like that, they're... Stuff that what sort of stuff are they doing? It, it, it's just quality of life stuff, plus like some extra furniture, because I like making my colonies look pretty. That's fair. Oh, that is an emu. Sorry, <laughs> there's an emu walking around your base. Yeah, that happens. There's some rats there too. Well, like rats and rabbits and stuff, that's pretty standard. I wasn't expecting an emu. It, well, I guess I also wasn't expecting a chinchilla as well in this game, so, uh... I'm half expecting Remy to just, like, scream about killing that rabbit. What? Why'd I scream about killing the rabbit? Oh, because I need rabbits, yeah. Rabbits. Mm -hmm. I need kill rabbits. <laughs> Playing forest and, uh, need the rabbits. I, I did manage to kill a rabbit, and then Jerry closed the server, so I don't know if I actually got it. The rabbits <laughs> oh. I don't have a problem with. It was the turtle. Yeah. What turtles? There were no there were no problems with turtles whatsoever at all. I just don't understand why we, well, we couldn't like hollow out a rock or something. Or just find an appropriately shaped rock. Well, if we could find a bucket, that would work too. But the game wouldn't give us a give us one. Yeah, I know. I hate stuff like that where it's just like there is stuff that is obviously suitable for it, and it's just like nope, that's not the way we decided that you unlock Ooh, this thing. Ooh, in them dar hills. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we need five more rooms. I guess everybody can have their own. Yay! Hooray! Uh, do, 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 do. How are you supposed to get in? What the? <laughs> Thanks, Chris. What was that? <laughs> Uh, that was my bit That's notification. Bit oh! Thank you, Always bit mines. Yeah, the bit mines have been good to you recently. Yeah. Also, Jerry, that door opens directly into a wall. Is that maybe something worth fixing? I was wondering about that problem. <laughs> you got a room! <laughs> Prism, that was so perfectly timed. <laughs> I like how the bear's just wandering through these unfinished rooms. Uh, that sounds kind of melancholy. The bear wanders the bear. through unfinished rooms. <laughs> Oh no, I made these rooms too long. Do 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 do. 
Thank you for Amazon's money, Remy. <laughs> I forgot that I have a Twitch and don't do anything with it. <laughs> Or Twitch, Twitch, yeah, Twitch. This is Twitch, yeah. God, there's too many, too many services that begin with like a twa sound. I swear. So yeah. But yeah, random notification that if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch sub that you can use. Yeah, you get. It literally costs you nothing to use it, so give it to someone. Yeah, I didn't know that was what that was. It just said I had a thingy, so I did a thingy. Yeah, yeah uh, you get a free subscription to a uh, to a Twitch channel with Amazon Prime because they own Twitch. You own Twitch. <laughs> I, I know what you mean that Twitch was bought by Amazon, but I thought well, like the user who has an Amazon account could just own Twitch. Yeah, like, I'll just put that in my cart. I'll just buy Twitch. So I may not have my priorities straight because I'm focusing more on getting everybody, you know, housed before I like, start up food production and stuff, but normally you only have three people. Yeah, that's fair. Um, it's not like it's a major issue for you to uh, throw together some houses with how many people you have. Yeah. Also, that many people without, like... Having some privacy is bound to yes. cause issues. I love that the door's open for the bear. Whoa, whoops. Yeah, you are correct, Paul. Thank you very much. No wonder that bed hasn't been built. The bear in the way? No, I forgot to put a door on that room. I do it. Whoops. Do a thing. Do 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 do. Oh god. I mean, you had some number of bits. I had some number of bits. <laughs> I don't know what they do. <laughs> Take them, please. I don't want to understand. That's right. <laughs> oh god. The oh, and I kicked Chris out of the first place spot. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry. It's okay. It's what helpful. It so, you know. It's Oh yeah, yeah, it's not a bad it's not a bad thing I did. Well, I mean slightly. Also I'm pretty sure Chrism is probably like all time highest. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would be stunned if that's not the case. Three bit is one penny that goes to... Oh cool. There, take what? Five dollars? Well, fifty cents actually, because when you're a uh... An affiliate rather than a partner, Twitch takes half. Yeah. Fuck. Like a, That's not harsh. like a negotiated percentage. Well, you know. I mean, like, whatever. I, I don't know where I got these bits from, so I mean, like, hey, 250, sure. If, like, next time if I want to give you money, I'll just throw money at you through another venue. I mean, you know. No, it's well, what still... are you doing? Okay. <laughs> He's just going for a walk. Okay. Novel. Sorry. Novelist. Makes sense. Uh, minor break risk. Not Ebby. Why? What's wrong with you? Is it because you're sleeping on the ground? <laughs> yeah, no. We super appreciate random money that you throw us. It's cool. Oh, I'm a moderator here. Why am I a moderator here? Because I don't know what Joey this thing is. <laughs> Well, I get why she would make me one, but I'm just like, I have all this power and no idea how to use it. Okay, I think everybody, yeah, everybody's asleep, so let's... I'll stop playing with Twitch now. Hi. Yeah, has, has the bear, like, bonded with anyone yet? Looks like it's bonded with a rabbit out there. Yeah, because I, underst I understand that, like, they pick a person, basically. No, no relationships yet. Okay. Oh, somebody's awake early. Who's that? Yeah, look how you almost got all the beds done. Okay, Rose. Did they wake up just to go sleep in the. No, she woke up just to watch the sunrise. Oh, okay. That's kind of sweet. Well, that's, not... that's actually nice. I, I I felt like woke up, walked outside, and just fell back asleep again. Like No, like. I've seen. The I've colonists seen. Colonists gain happiness from, like, going for walks through pretty terrain. 
Oh, like watching the is sunrise. That in... Sorry, to the right of the screen there, is that like a sealed room? Yes. Ooh. You can tunnel into those. Sometimes they have baddies in them, which is why I'm not doing it. Fair. <laughs> oh no, not bad guys. Novel is angry because he's very hungry. Is there the phrase for that? Yeah, if only we had a word that meant both hungry and angry. I'm going to call it, I'm angry. Yeah, perfect. I successfully nailed it. You did. Never been prouder of myself. Is that a giant snoring slug? That's Drackle, don't be rude. <laughs> wow. Um, oh, but, yeah. but no, it's an emu. Listen, Drackle is a big boy. Like, in this game, he's, he's quite round. There he is. Look at him in his mohawk. He's asleep in a pile of rocks right now. Fair. As you do. As you do. Joey, I demand an apology on behalf of Dracon. That was super rude. But look at him, he's so round. Joey. I'm sorry, Dracul, you know I love you. Mr. Vile is feeding berries to this bear. Berries. Oh wait, uh, another hunter lacks a ranged weapon and there is a single revolver here. Uh, equip revolver. Every time I hear the word revolver, I just instantly think ocelot. Same. Yeah. I mean, it's not a bad thing, it's... You just think about slamming a bullet into a chamber. It's fine. No, or you just think of that hand gesture and just... Oh god. Please never do what? that again. Oh, the bit where he just like juggles those guns all stupid like for some reason. Oh man. No, no, that actually is like 100% legit. If you look up on YouTube, you can go find the person who did the... What is it, what is it called? Mo uh, the, 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 yeah, not the mo not the mocap. What they did is they just like recorded a gun master just slinging guns around like that. And he's just doing fully that stuff. Why? Because it's a thing that people with guns like to do for some reason. I don't. Why would you juggle loaded guns? It, well, I, I mean, like it makes sense that more ocelots. They were. No, if he shoots okay. people with them, then like immediately after. Yeah, like, ocelot. Okay, you know, ocelot isn't real and doesn't have to like abide by gun safety regulations, right? I yeah, but if somebody, but I mean, you said that's based on like a real thing that people do. I don't think real people do it with loaded guns, love. I bet they do. I bet they do it and then they shoot targets. I bet that's like a trick thing that happens at fucking loser people gun shows. His name, okay, the guy who did it, the, the mocap, it was a mocap actor. The guy's name is Tornado Yoshida. <laughs> you telling me a guy called Tornado Yoshida isn't gonna like use loaded guns? <laughs> He's called Tornado is... Yoshida. His his name is Tornado Yoshida, and that is the mocap actor for Revolver Ocelot, and it is perfect. Go juggle a loaded gun sounds like something, like a way that you would tell someone to fuck up. Yeah. Grimlock, why are you not happy? Oh. He had disturbed sleep because he slept outside. That'll do it. <laughs> Novel's just standing there, staring at his wall. Fair. Look at this chinchilla. Isn't she cute? There, I, I guess I can post this in chat. The a link of a side-by-side -side comparison of Robert Ocelot. The scenes that Ocelot did in uh, Tornado Yoshida. Is that alright to post in chat? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. go for it. Okay, so if anyone's interested, there's a side by side of him doing the gun spinning as as both Revolver Ocelot and Bullet itself. 
I have to ask permission to post in chat because I don't understand Twitch. No, you're fine. So this is going to be like a sort of food production area. Okay, why are you Kitchen. building it away from everything else? Because this is where we are growing food, so it'll be easier to go from here to here. And plus, like, eventually this mountain is going to go away. Time to go away, mountain. Look at how efficient these guys are. Oh, we need more wood. Okay. Oh, we've got this notion that we quite like no. to sail the ocean. So we're <laughs> building a big boat to leave it for good. No. We're not keen on sinking, so that's why we're sitting thinking. Because we built it too big and we run out of wood. Don't dare. <laughs> What is- I don't- I'm lost again. It's a song that some randos sing in black and white. And you memorize- I don't need to know- I, I can figure why you memorize. Well, the thing <laughs> is- really probably just to annoy me. The thing, no. Well, the thing is, you wouldn't memorize it if they only did it once, but they sing a variation of that song with every, like, increasingly- petty demand that they make of you. Also, I have a brain thing where I remember the lyrics to every song I've ever heard. Oof. <laughs> chat, I'm banning everyone. See, chat appreciated <laughs> me. Banned. Banned. I, I, I'm a mod, I can unban. Oh! Whoa! Don't worry, I am a mod. Holy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is Dwarf Fortress. Shit. <laughs> oh, did, it, did it pop up and say, like, warning some elephants, and it's just, like, literally all of them? I mean, it did say a herd uh, of elephants is passing through. Uh, did it mean a horde of it? elephants? It might yeah. have meant a horde. They won't warning. attack unless they're provoked. Oh. All the elephants there are, there are attacking. They're not attacking, they're just migrating through. Alright. So, I looked it up just for clarification. Herds of elephants consist anywhere of 8 to 100. So, oh. yeah. Oh my god, listen to all this honking. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Well, of, of all the random things to happen, I guess, you know, a bunch of elephants on the other side of the river from you, not so bad. Yeah, the fact that that river in the way is kind of helpful. I agree. Oh no, they're communicating with the buffalo. Those are buffalo against us. Those are like some weird lumpy ghost. Well, it's called a buffalo. Okay. I, so I love quite. that they're just honking. What are we doing here? This is a forest. Elephants don't go in forests. Oh god. Uh, I've seen Tarzan. I'm pretty sure elephants go in forests. Remy. Why Did was I... there a... Hmm? Why was there a rainforest in Africa? I'm sure there's some rainforests in... on the continent. It's a pretty diverse continent. We, we're all furiously googling stuff. There is a type of elephant called African forest elephant. So, uh, I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah, there you go. Done. I mean, like, I think the only time I've ever seen an elephant is either, like, when they put documentaries and they're always in, like, the vast plains of Africa, or when it's, like, Disney World. It's just like, we made the vast plains of Africa. So my, my brain just then was like, Tarzan lied to me. Yeah, yeah. With Disney's Tarzan? That one you're referring yes. to? That one lied? That's weird. Well, Disney wouldn't lie. 
for, for legal reasons, we have to say it's uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs' style then. But... Did you, like, look that up, or do you just instinctively I know? know that off by, I know that off by heart because of Kingdom Hearts, because it comes up every time you know <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, because they have to specifically credit the fact <laughs> that it's not just I was Disney gonna... Tarzan. I wasn't going to question the fact that, yes, you would know exactly who wrote Tarzan, but I really should have expected it It was going to be followed up by to, to because, because it was in Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, uh. so, it's a random fact. It's a slightly interesting reason that I know it, so my brain will never let me forget it. Yeah, Wait, I'm like, tell, tell us fact upgrade. about Hercule Poirot. I'm not going to tell you any facts about Hercule Poirot. Is Go watch Poirot, Dragon that's Ball? really good. No, that's Mr. Satan. Oh, and that's my knowledge of Dragon Poirot Ball. Did you Poirot and Mr. Satan? What no, the hell? No, because they call, they call him Hercule in the... In oh, the yeah. Yeah. Which is why I also like bringing up, because it just makes people mad. Okay, we need a butcher table. A stove. And we need this. This is like the only gameplay thing I've modded in. Which is a manager's desk. And with a manager's desk, it takes you so can much. Manage? Yes, actually, it takes so much of the micromanagement out of running a colony. Let me show you the manager screen. So you can set jobs to like hunt specific animals or um. to chop down trees, or to tame and take care of certain animals, or to forage, or to mine. Fancy. Okay, that seems like a lot, but I can totally understand this being an easier way of going about it than having to go, like, every person or something. Yes. I was gonna say, they're still, they're still doing the stuff, it's not like it's just... Yeah, but if you have like more control... Stuff. Yeah, but I mean, if you're trying to do things, it would make more sense that, you know... If you're trying to survive, I would like to put at least one person in control of just saying, like, okay, three people get trees, seven people go kill yeah. ponies, I don't know. <laughs> that bear looks like he's ready for a management position. I like it. Woodwind is a girl, thank you. Uh, it's hard. Bears, bears are difficult. <laughs> bears are difficult. Have you ever tried to reason with a bear? No. I like, um, I like the idea of this management bears behind the desk, and you're like, oh, excuse, excuse me, ma'am, I, I need next week off, and the bears just, all right, I'm sorry. non bear Mary? Is that anything? Is that anything? Wait, what? Is what anything? Is what anything? Sorry, meat and popcorn. Non I'm sorry, non bear Mary. That's a thing, right? <laughs> non bear oh, God, okay. I think it took that's me a while what to you call, like, a non-binary person who's real big and hairy. Sure. <laughs> non-binary, yeah. I'll allow it. Yeah, that's good. Anyway, fishing. Oh no. Now I know why you play this game, because there's fishing. Uh, there isn't, actually. I had to mod fishing in. <laughs> that's the only way she could play it. Oh, uh, that was like the first mod I bet you installed too, huh? It's like Jerry play Silent Hills, mods in fishing. Jerry play. I don't Jerry think I want to go fishing in Silent Hill. And yet? What do you mean, why would you mod fishing in? It's a perfectly reasonable <laughs> source of food. <laughs> There is a fishing rod in Silent Hill. Good to know. In, in Silent Hill downpour. So yes, you can fish in Silent Hill. So anyway, we have our... Uh, thingy... All done. Black and white did have fishing. But I don't think you've actually played that yourself, have you, Gary? Yes. Oh, have you? Okay. I thought you'd just watch me play it. And do impressions of the giant bear friend? Yep. Hello. 
Hello. Okay, what I'm going to do is... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going to repurpose this little building here as a storehouse. Oh man. I just saw your Twitch notification come up. And there's giant spiders in this? Yeah. Oh. Well, sometimes. They don't look very well, spidery. I... Just not a fan of the spiders. We won't be seeing any. Apologies. Apologies. Oh, I'm fine with them. I played enough games with spiders in them to be like, yeah, that's just a thing. Psychic I, suit. I think I got over it from Ocarina. Every colonist of the male gender smiles with contentment. Why? Some distant engine of happiness is stirring. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that's, uh, that only seems to affect male gender. For a few days, some people's mood will be quite a bit better. Okay. It's so, like all the dudes so... are in some kind of reverse period, I guess. I was to say, so... so this is a man's world in the regard to whatever is making men happy? I don't know. I think what probably actually happened is one of the men found some weird space on and shared it around. <laughs> That's what I'm assuming must have happened. They discovered space football and... Uh, no, it doesn't, Chrism. <laughs> Space football. <laughs> Space football. <laughs> Why wouldn't they just call it Spaceball? Because that's uh, copyrighted. Trademark. Okay, now I'm going to build these guys. Just a little dining room. Away from the kitchen, so I have to walk around their houses to get to the dining hall? No, I'm going to build a little, uh... Kitchenette. No, it, it, it'll be a storeroom for food. Zero-G football. Now I'm just thinking of good old drown ball. Yep. I love to blitz. Blitz? 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 Blitz. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a blitz ball. Was that an actual line someone said in that game? Yes. It certainly was. Because I, I don't, well, I don't recall it. That small child said, "I want to be be a blitz ball when I grow up." Have we discovered that was a translation error, or? Probably. I mean, it was a localization. It wasn't necessarily That's a translation I mean. error so much as. Yeah. Okay. Just how they what should we hunt? Deer are good to hunt, emu, gazelle, has goats. Ugh. No, let's not hunt goats. I can't hear the word gazelle without immediately appending the king of mythical beasts. And that's Yu-Gi-Oh's fault. Yep, that's right, Johnny Yu-Gi-Oh. Nope, in uh, in Japan, in the Japanese version of uh, Final Fantasy X, the kid does say it as a basic translation. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a Blitzball. Nice. Right. Fair okay, what animal should we aim to tame? Um, and in the HD version, they did cure. change it to ball player. Uh, buffalo, definitely. They can haul things. Oh, that's weird. So, in the HD version of the game... They went back and changed in the Japanese version, so now he says he wants to be a Blitzball player, but in the English version, he still says he wants to be a Blitzball. Yeah, because it's a meme. Why would they change it? Yeah. So you can hear the shooting already. Our hunters have started on the... Claire! Somebody made a real-world Blitzball, and I hate it. <laughs> No, because Elder King of Mythical Beasts is a uh, phantom beast. No, look at chat, I knew me. that before you said it. <laughs> May, look, ju just look at chat. I know. Bandit camp opportunity. Yeah. Okay, no, we're not doing that. Good. 
Paul Power, Paul Power brings up, don't fight the emus. If you don't want to start a war, you will regret. You will I don't. Lose. I don't think any of us are Australian. Maybe, Maybe this is Space Australia. Australia. Could be Space Australia. Didn't think of it. Mm. You tend not to. We're trapped in Space Did Australia. You... Do you know how many times you're not thinking about Space Australia? It's like, all the time. Dang. Blew my mind. Mm, no. I think I have some rocks in your dining hall. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a oh. Are you, you saying you should have made the room a little bit bigger? Probably. Fair. Mm. Oh, here we I go. Think you just done it some more. Yeah. Uh, a wild boar is very mad at being attacked. But it's okay because somebody already killed it. Okay. Oh, okay. well, that solves that problem. Whew. We almost had something happen there. <laughs> yeah, I'm Thank God we avoided that. that. Gonna extend the dining room. Why don't you just make like the whole thing a one big building? Because fires. Mm, that's fair. Who's cooking? Prism is cooking. Oh, we now have some, some leather to uh, craft things out of. Ancient danger. As Rose draws near the ancient wall, a sense of foreboding overcomes her. She isn't sure why, but she feels this dusty structure making... Oh. So it turns out the ominous the... cube was ominous. Hey, that's that secret room I talked about. Yeah, don't... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, crack, crack it open. I think we will not do that. Ah. Uh, anyway, what I was going like to do... Boy. Is add a little crafting spot here. And this is just for crafting like basic things, like short bows. So we'll make some short bows so that the rest of our hunters have a weapon. I assume your weapons use ammunition, right? No. Really? So the, the gun, well, I guess it's space future, so. Drackle's having a good time. Slicing up this ball. <laughs> uh, yes, Back we did trust worried. you with a gun. Can you trust the bear with a gun? No. Uh. Trust that bear with my life. Yes, yes. There we go. I keep hearing a sound effect that sounds like... What is it? The pose from Ocarina of Time disappearing. I see. I see. I swear I'm hearing that. Is it like that whirring noise? No, no, no. It's like it's like the slight cackly noise, like <laughs> as they disappear. Are those are turkeys, friend. So turkeys confirmed for ghosts. I knew yep. it. But honestly, I really do think it's like the same sound. Which door should you put that chair, Joey? Ha ha! Oh. <laughs> well. 
That's cheating. Fine. So who do we want to check in on? See what Ooh, social uh, things are happening. Eb Ebby's asking how setup has gone. Let's see how like, Ebby is how, doing what, then. What? Yeah, yeah. How is your how's your setup been doing? Quickly discuss the old days with Grimlock. What old days? We've been here like a week. Not even that. Well, I mean, to be fair, you were on a ship or something before this, so I would consider those the old days, because I'm pretty sure they're done with. Remember when we were in space flying to a base and not trying to survive? And you we know? also communicated with a grizzly bear. Sure. <laughs> Good. Um, okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> yeah, Earth. Remember Earth? Earth was a thing. Uh, Carnival, your character's just wandering around saying hi to people. Um, Claire uh, is exchanging Babs pleasantries. Bab Scribbin is asking as well. Oh, I, I can see the chat. Okay, no, I'm just asking. I was more going like, am I pronouncing the name correctly? I apologize. Oh, I'm the worst at pronunciations. Drackle five hours ago exchanged words with Mr. Vile about their bucket list. Oh, that's a good thing to talk about when you're in the middle of surviving. Yeah. Also, Talk, like, isn't your bucket list Vivi? supposed to be? Isn't the bucket list supposed to be like something like? you know, challenging that you could go do with some effort, like, I don't know, bungee jump or something. I, I don't know if trying to s start civilization again is a good time to be figuring out those things to do. Not Ebby has gotten food poisoning from fairies. Well. That's a good question. What did Mr. Vile think about this bucket list? Had a short chat with Novel about drugs. <laughs> so that's what's on the bucket list. It's a very interesting bucket list. Doing drugs <laughs> with Novel. You see, that sounds like a more novel bucket list to do. It's just like, we're stuck here stranded. If I could just get high out of my mind, that would take the edge off of this. Oh, I know what you mean about that noise now. Yeah, thank you. It'll sound like when you hit a Poe or something. Not even like yeah. a Poe. Like a... Yeah, it sounds like a sound effect from Ocarina, right? right at least, right? Like a redead, maybe? Yeah, yeah, it's like a redead getting up noise or something. That's true. Mr. Vile is a botanist. The, the, the term botanist always sounds evil to me. I don't know why. Okay, of all the people who are capable of evil, I don't think botanists are top of the list. Hey, uh -huh. hey, hey. Poison Ivy? Yeah. She's great, though. Yeah, also, uh, well, like, she's also evil as hell. I mean, she's great, don't get me wrong, but... I mean, she, she is an environmental terrorist. Yeah, so... It, it, so wait a minute, you're saying, oh, botanists aren't evil, yet there's a term called environmental terrorists that, that, that is, that is that. Well, no. <laughs> like, it's a Venn diagram where one isn't fitting inside the other, but there's a subset of, you know, botanists and a subset of people that are, uh, <laughs> environmental terrorists, and they, they, they line up somewhere. See what Vivi's up to. I don't like... think that all botanists are uh, eco-terrorists. No, not, no, not, not at all. I'm not saying it's a Venn diagram. It's not like one is completely in the other. Not Ebby is a just Vendi standing outside. A, a Venn diagram is only with the two circles and there's like the edge, just like a center area where they overlap Remy, slightly. What, right? what the fuck yeah. are you talking about? Oh no, there's it's a mad animal. It's named after Ventus from Kingdom Hearts 2 to symbolize the way the two parts of him are. A local some hare has gone some. mad. How, how do you how do you do this? I how do you bring know. everything back? To... I don't know. It's great. <laughs> I mean, I know everything is pretty much in in this. Wow, that that bunny is making a bee line. Yeah. Bunny line. Is that bunny gonna try and fuck you up? Yep. 
<laughs> Look at him go. Da, 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 da. Oh, here it comes. Da, 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 here it comes. Da, 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 Protect the children. I thought you were going to go into, like, I want to rock then for a second, and I don't know why. Oh no, it's trying to break down a door. It, who's it trying to get to right now? What door was that? I think it's chasing Iphone, who is taking um, shelter in not Abby's room. Who, who was the buddy trying to go after? What was the door they attacked? Yes, that's an en well, no, it's an enraged hare. Also, I spent a non oh, no. amount of time today reading about the uh, the weird beef between Jefferson Airplane, Jefferson Starship, and Starship. <laughs> so not that's Abby's just going to punch this rabbit to death. Yeah, that Abby isn't ahead enough of your shit, bunny. Oh, it. Ebby knocked it the fuck out? Yep. Hooray! Well, it, it was talking shit, so it got hit. Just bare knuckle well, box a rabbit to death. Hair knuckle box. The bear fell asleep in the dining room. <laughs> yeah, it knows its priorities. I like Ebby, not Ebby's just standing over this bunny like, I did this. <laughs> or now what? I'm not sure which. Okay. There's actually the box. Oh, like they, yeah, yeah, they do. Okay, everybody's gone to bed, so let's speed things up a bit. It's a bear rug. <laughs> So, is that bunny gonna wake up and, uh, be mad still? That's a lot of blood there, too. You have to be pretty mad to be still mad after being asleep. Well, it is a mad hare. Like, it, it literally just said, hey, I'm gonna go fuck up those people halfway across the map. Okay. Doc thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Um, so I have decided to call it the Bad Idea Miners. Not the Tech but. Oops. But what should chat, what should we call our little settlement? Ooh. The um While you think about that, I will be right back. First one I see is dick butt. <laughs> okay, so the thing that I have to present to you all. Take a spider. <laughs> what about New Duckburg? Woohoo. Exactly. I like it. Or, or we can all decide on something absolutely terrible, but if we all decide on it, Joey has to do it. Exactly. Call everything Mega Spiders and hope it comes true. No! Gotta be New Duckburg, right? We gotta vote for Duckburg. Lester Punchington's good too, I like that. Kingdom Hearts! Kingdom Hearts! It all comes back to Kingdom Hearts! <laughs> oh no. Oh, so I guess we're... We're, we're somewhere between... Okay. Oh no. Have we got... Have we got some good ideas going? We should. Sure we, we, we <laughs> okay, so Joey, you have two options. Don't read the chat. Yeah. Okay. Um, Don't read the chat. You have two options. Your two options are new <laughs> Duckburg. New what now? Duckburg. New Duckburg. Okay. Or Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> To, to be fair, they're both the same thing if you think about it. I Duck want you Bird to guess which one absolutely. of those I came up with. Hmm? <laughs> I want you to guess which one of those I came yeah. up with. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Where, Dad, my, I which love one my was it? That wasn't even Wait. the one I came up with. I came no. up with Dickberg. Dickberg? <laughs> no, not Dickberg. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was thing that came to mind. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh man. Fantastic. Yeah, Cri Crimson is the one for Kingdom Hearts. Crimson is, Crimson is to blame for Kingdom Hearts. I, well, no, I think honestly you are to blame for that thing. Yeah. <laughs> because it, it was inevitable after that fact. I used my girlfriend VO to cause that to happen. Lord. So this is the sneak peek into Kingdom Hearts 3. I hope you all enjoy. Yep. God, my brother sent me for no freaking reason. I don't know why. But a picture of Goofy and a picture of Velma from Scooby-Doo with just the head swapped. And I just replied, man, Kingdom Hearts 3 is looking nuts. <laughs> it's the only response I could come up with. Yeah, that's fair. It's, I don't know why he said this to me here. The fight nap is over. Besides, <laughs> is it a is it a nap that you take for fighting or one you take after fighting? The one that you take, take after fighting. After. Okay. Beating the fighting. shit out of that hair took a lot out of not Abby. Where'd that hair go? We butchered it for meat. Is that? I don't. I think eating it is a good idea if it went, oh, I don't know, bad. Eh, that's fine, as long as you don't eat the brain. Alright, yeah, I'll give you that. Oh, that's not chinchilla, I think, right? Forgot about them. Okay. What's the chinchilla up to? That's a good point. What What is our chinchilla up to? <laughs> Has she made any friends? Yeah. She does have a or bond with Zarnal. So Zanal, good job. Babs, did you say poor bun? It tried to kill Bingley Effie. Oh, not it's not a bunny. No, not 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 that bunny. The bunny, the bad bunny, the bad hair. Yeah, it's not a bunny. I, I think mean, it's a bun. No, no lupine. I keep thinking tree whenever I hear that. Whoops, I just used the harvest command on some rocks. I don't think no, that's correct. No, I've just realized what that noise is. It's in Wind Waker when you hit a floor master. Got it. That's definitely what that noise is. Sorry. Let me look that up. I can't believe I'm actually looking up floor master. I hate those fucking things. Uh... Specifically the Wind Waker one. Yeah, no, specifically I hate those too. Yeah, I don't know what not Abby is doing. I was hauling wood. Oh lord, that's loud. So what should we research, guys? Th there's a lot. Yeah, it is the wind. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That is the sound right. effect for hitting it. I, I, I found the uh, test room. I think I. Yeah. Seems good. Okay, yeah, this is the sound effect. This is a bit of a loud video. You have headphones on. So just uh, turn that down a touch. It gets right into the, the sound effect. Let's see, Prism's having conversation, so let's see what's happening. Ask Dot to hang out with me. 
Let's see, what's Mr. Vile up to? Exchanging pleasantries with the Grimlock. Quickly discussed practical jokes with Vivi. <laughs> Had a short chat with Zarnal about religion and spirituality. I just, as, as I draw a post in chat, distant rifle shots are the soundtrack to this colony, and I like, all I can think of is just, you, you have that, but also faintly you have the opening to Kingdom Hearts, the, the, <laughs> what, what, what is that? Simple and Clean, that's the song title. Yeah. Well, I know that. You should know this. I know I know that. I did know that. Well, I know you know. You had to know that. Mm-hmm. May actually but, like, has, I... um, an uncanny ability to make simple and clean start playing whenever yeah it's magic it's just a thing that i can do so when you walk this way yeah oh, look, it's not the power drill sound what <laughs> yeah that's not loud <laughs> Oh wait a minute. Let me guess. Let me guess whose ringtone that is and who just called whom. Mm. I'm oh, gonna. No. I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess what happened there. It's my ringtone for me. Uh, the it's, bear yeah. is a pet. He's Sorry, a colonist. <laughs> she. She is a colonist. Yeah, don't don't mind the list of problems. It's fine. Nudists are too clothed. <laughs> Is that a problem or a solution? I'm not sure. I think it's it's giving you the answer in the problem. Yeah, it's like Jeopardy. Let's see what Drackle's been up question. to. Shared thoughts on cleanliness with Rose. Rose, take a fucking bath. Shared thoughts on solitude with Dot. Dot, you just go away. Dot, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Let's see how Vivi's doing. Claire asked me to hang out. Was nuzzled by a chinchilla. Aww. Aww. That's like the best thing I think that's happened this entire game. Vivi, good job. <laughs> So your people will just do the jobs that you tell them to do, or suggest, I suppose. Yeah. And whenever they get tired or hungry, they'll just automatically take care of that stuff? Yep. So it's a cross between Dwarf Fortress and The Sim, where mm -hmm. they have wants and needs, and they'll actually take care of themselves. Yeah. Cool. Vivian and Claire are hanging out. Struck up a conversation with Claire. Relaxing socially. I, I like how they keep swapping seats. Had a long conversation <laughs> about human nature with Claire. By a long conversation with human nature, I'm picturing a Metal Gear Solid cutscene. Hmm. Do you know the basics of CQC? I don't think we do. <laughs> Well, uh, Ebby totally did. Smack the hell out of that bun. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, the bear's just asleep in the kitchen. This bear has slept everywhere there's food, I want to point out. Priorities set. To answer for how it's like, no, no, I'm not that asshole who removes kitchens and bathrooms when the Sims need to pee. I'm that asshole who removes the door and then lights the fireplace full of wicker furniture. I did not give the bear a bedroom. I can make like an animal bed for the bear, but it'll be too, she'll be too big for it. And it'll well, if the chinchilla could use it. 
It will look silly. I think now you have to do it. I should zone an area here for meals. Once we get power generation going, we can put a fridge in here so that the meals will go there. Uh. Hmm? I was just wondering, because I saw that top corner, the, uh, whatever, the management building, is missing a corner of the room. It's like nobody's bothering to fix it. Uh, it's because we're out of wood it's... at the moment. Okay. There's like a tree three feet from there. See if anybody's saying, like, like doing it. Yeah. Oh, no. There we go. Exchange pleasantries it was, it... with not Ebby. <laughs> Exchanged words with Grimlock about ethics momentarily. <laughs> How do you have a mouth? Okay. Yeah, I maybe need to extend the food storeroom. Like, this is just temporary. Once it, things get going, I will actually, like, give the food its own storehouse. The problem is mostly that we just don't have wood. Wait, what? Why is there an unconscious lynx? These things happen. We're not supposed to be hunting those. Well, you didn't. It's unconscious. Is it different? Maybe it was angry at somebody and they just. Oh, wow. You know, it got fucked up by a tortoise. Whoa. Okay. I just oh, heard that sound badass. again. Okay, let's finish her off. Man. Okay, see, now I know why you were telling us not to mess with the turtles in. In, uh, in in forest, it wasn't so much all on the lines of <laughs> you know us harming them. It was clearly awarding the other way around. Yep. Super. What is it? Um, teenage mutant ninja tortoises. Go watch out for them. Oh wow! Paul Power said exactly what I was thinking. I did not read that. Let's see what Paul is. Uh been doing. Yeah. Had a conversation about politics with Chrism. Communicated with the grizzly bear. <laughs> Which was the better talk? Learned about Zarnal's thoughts on their bucket list. A lot of talking about it. And they're very mor a morbid people that we have here. Well, I mean, stuff ain't great. Yeah, they're not exactly in a very stable situation. Hey, the corner of the house is built. Thank you. Okay. Let's get some power going. Power to the people. Uh, where's a good place? What mm. kind of power? Probably solar. What kind um, of power do you have access to? Uh, we can have a, a wood fire generator, a solar generator, or a wind turbine. Solar and wind are probably the best, yeah. But those seem dependent upon if wind there is takes sun. takes up a lot of space. Yeah. Or wind. Oh goodness, that is a lot of space. That's solar, right? Solar wow. only works during the day, but you can attach it to batteries. Fair point. So real solar power. Okay, so let's... Where should we put it? Okay, hey, there's just a whole building here. Neat. <laughs> Don't put it in the building. That doesn't sound like it'd be that useful. No, that sounds unuseful. Beep beep. Yeah, it's just the, the psychic thing that made all the men happy is ending. I, I'm still unsure of, like... I don't know, whatever. I've, I've watched How a lot much of a concern seven. that was. Well, it was just... I, I, I'd be a bit concerned if there's like, hey, we discovered there's a thing that's making, like... 
well, a gender to the populace happy, I'd be like, oh, that's a, that's good. We don't need to worry about stopping it. But I think I'd right, like to know what's causing it. I, I'd feel like if it can make us happy, it could maybe do the other. Yeah. Unhappy night owls. Oh right, yeah, so, night owls like to be a, a Bear, what are you doing? Bear's just chilling. Yeah, Bear was just chilling in Vivi's room. See, I'm not sure whether what you've done is you made all the doors automatic or you managed to get this bear opposable thumbs so they can open doors. I mean, bears can probably open doors. Yeah, I think they pause. I mean, yeah. Well, all, all you have to do is, like, pull the handle down and push at the same time. And... Well, this is a doorknob. Like, if it's a doorknob, though, is what I was thinking. Well, these look like handles to me. Yeah. Don't know if it's actually quite a complicated thing to make, so it probably is a handle. Bear also, flaps yeah, and all may the maybe there's bear flaps. What a horrible phrase. <laughs> bear flap. Oh, it yeah. does sound kind of insulting, doesn't it? Remy, you don't know this fact, but flaps is actually a very childish term in British slang for vagina. Uh, I haven't heard that one. I've heard uh, I've heard of like the other ones. Bear wizard. I remember bear wizard. Bear Man, wizard. I do remember bear wizard. That's a like D and D campaign we did a long time ago. Fantastic. You can tell it was a long time ago because I was playing and enjoying D and D. Yep. Well, you were playing it. I might be starting playing D and D. I don't know how well that's gonna go. Save yourself. D and D. Oh, my brother! Fine. My brother's I just gonna personally be. Personally, uh... don't like it. It. I think it's highly dependent on who's running it and also who's in it because, like, that will make or break it easily. There's, there's systems that I it... greatly prefer to D and D. Hey, Jerry, remember Car? Car. Car. Hey guys, I'm Car. Hi guys, I'm a car. There you go. Can... Wow. See, it can make or break a D and D section or any sort of RP. Well, no, not paranoia. For those of you... Yeah, that was for paranoia. The... Yeah. No, no. That was paranoia. Well, well, I mean, it's a role play, so I mean, I'll, I'll call it. It's not D and D, but it, it's definitely within the same wheelhouse. Anyway, were you about to tell the story of Car? I was about to say like everybody. I was about to say like car is pretty much exactly what you're picturing. What car is? Car is a car. Yeah. Very very happy about being a car. Didn't like communists. No. Yeah. Really car... like communists. I forget. No, car is an car, ac car acronym is. for um, communist apprehension robot. That's right. I've been picturing it was just a car this entire time. I mean, yeah, he was also just a car, but... Okay. Good. I I'm glad robot car. But what I like Not about... Not a transfer, that's... What I oh, like yeah. about car is that I didn't give car a personality, you guys just projected a personality onto it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we did. But that's 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 exactly what I mean by the, the fact of, like, D&D &D is totally... Um, like or any RP is definitely like people who are playing it and the, the dungeon master, because like you could have just said like no, it's just car, leave it alone. That's not a thing. If you're going to be a dick about it, and Joey is a dick, so like w what is it? There's a story I know that, uh, like the one the one other time I played D and D with a group, they told me the story of the worst person that they've ever had in their party. They did space faring adventures. And one person kept ruining it for everybody and doing all the dumb things you can think of. But they decided, hey, next game, can I run a campaign? And they're like, uh, all right, fine, just to shut you up. 
So they wrote this huge story. Some friends of theirs got captured on another ship. They had to go in there, rescue them, or whatever it was. So in a previous adventure, they got like these bags of like explosive sand. So they just Looney Tunes style cut a corner of the bag, dragged it all the way to where their friend was, saved the friend, walked, took the long way back to the ship, and lit it as they flew off into space. And the entire huge frigate thing blew up. And <laughs> the person that was hosting is like. This quest was supposed to take you months to go through. I spent so much time on this, and you beat it within, like, one session. Like, yeah. <laughs> Always be ready for that. Yes. But this was on purpose, just to, like, well, we did your story. Uh, that's as good as that one. Like, if you want to have a story that is 100% dictated by you and what you want, might I suggest writing a novel? <laughs> yes. Also, I'm fiction. But d d depending upon how your, um, I don't know, creativity goes? Yeah. Or creativity, what's the word? Once that wall gets built, somebody is going to get stuck in this room. Yep. I was gonna ask, is there a door? It's gonna be like that picture of Starry Night that we found. Oh man, that was amazing. Yep. Something oh, Remy, did you see House Flipper? Yeah, I saw some, I, I've, I've heard about it. I've seen somebody else play it, yeah. Well, we played it, and in one of the missions, there's, like, a wall that you can break down and find just, like, a chair and a painting of Starry Night. Like, I think that's the only thing that's in there? It's literally the only thing that's there. It's only big enough for those things. It's like a two-by-two two room. That's beautiful. That's great. So I don't we've know just, why it's there. So we've just locked Topo in, in a sealed room. Last. What's what's Turbo doing? Ask 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 them how they're doing in there. Yeah, how Topo? How you doing, buddy? Constraining clothes. I have loaded my players up so heavily with explosives, and the bad decisions they have bad made with them really fuel me. Now it sounds like they fueled themselves there, didn't it? Yeah. Don't ever. Don't ever give someone explosives or something that they can break shit with. Yeah, he's just locked in don't, there now. Don't let your your um, fellow game mates be able to do anything. <laughs> it's the safest option in D&D. Just don't touch anything. <laughs> well, I'll just pretend that's what you wanted them to do all along and just say how that causes them to now be doing the thing that you wanted them to do just in an oh, interesting yeah. good way I mean oh, what was it there was another time I was asked to join someone's D&D &D campaign and it was only because my friend who was hosting it um, wanted somebody else on their side because they had a somebody else that they knew has been bothering them for like months and months to want to join D and D, and they are a terrible controlling person, and just like will continue to talk to every NPC, touch everything in it, do everything wrong, just like the worst kind of person that you would want in a D and D campaign. So, um, this never happened, and I couldn't bring myself to really want to do this, but the idea was there that their character was an empath or something, so they were very much. Uh, along the lines of like what other people are feeling, they would pick up on it and then would go accordingly and everything like that. And I was looking through the the ma the monster manual, whatever it is, and there's a class of some other oh, crystal that was their crystalline being that would like doesn't isn't human but like the can shard mind. replicate. Thank you, shard mind. I don't play D. I don't know these things, but um, somebody I think please I was playing... free Topo. <laughs> free Torpo. <laughs> Hashtag free Torpo. But the, the the end of my story was I was making a character that could um, project emotions. So basically my entire character could just tell them to do things. Uh, okay. it'll, yeah, I like this is why I didn't do it because it's just like this is horribly mean and manipulative. But the entire time the, the main joke was I could just walk into an area and go, I want to fight that dragon. I'm going to punch that dragon in the face. And then they would have to go and punch that dragon. Free it's not a great story. Yeah. 
Wait, is, is Turbo okay? Let him go. Let him go. Are they trying is nobody to, just like, breaking down that wall? Is maybe that like, cancel that order and like redo it because it might be trying to like assign it from the wrong side of it. No, he can do it from <laughs> this side. So Torpo's just not doing it. Don't free Torpo. <laughs> just give him a painting and a chair and he'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, now he's building a roof. <laughs> Centaur was making it worse. They can climb out or something, but no. <laughs> Let's seal myself in. There we go. Is, is Turpo your nudist? Is that the yes. is that the one? Maybe maybe that's why everyone was so reluctant to let them out. Like, oh fine. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Okay, uh, flaws. Making everything out of wood's probably a terrible idea, but it's actually- it's like a very quick to get construction material. That's the most abundant material you have at the moment, so. Yeah. What, bear? I hear you. Hi, buddy. Okay. Ah, oh, there it is again. I suddenly regret making the power generator so far away. <laughs> Off though, I will be out back. Okay. Good luck. So with this, we can give everybody ceiling lights. You get power, which is a plus. Yeah. W once. You know, they've installed the wiring. Uh, I like the thought that they can get power, but only during the day, because it's solar fail. That's why we have those batteries. Oh, I, I know, but it just, I just really love the thought of just like, hey, you can turn on the lights as long as it's not dark out. Uh, so let's... Temperature. Is is that person putting a wood floor in with a like welding? Tool? Don't worry about it. That's a bit much. Oh no, it's power lines. They're putting down power lines. Okay. All right, that's better. And so we can destroy this fueled stove and put in an electric one. Uh, same with this tailor bench actually. That's like an electric tailor bench? And like, oh, a sewing machine. Yeah, that checks. Just plug this table in. <laughs> yep. Why am I remembering there was like some weird house design that some crazy arty designer came up with and the entire thing was just like you have your table and then you have a lamp on the table that's like built into the table like it's just glued there sort of and the way that the, you would get the white power is that you would put the table on the floor but in a certain spot because the legs of the table were like the outlet port plugs. So you can only put the table down in certain points of the room. Interior design was a mistake. Yeah. Like, it's one of those things like, oh, that sounds neat on paper, but when you're looking at it in real life, like, oh, I can only put the table here, I guess. Come on. I'm gonna make another fridgy room. Oh no, Topo failed to build a cooling unit. Well, I don't think it's failed. I think it's still more bad as being locked in that room. Uh. 
Yeah, I should have. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I will mm. move the kitchen and the butchers to. Like, here. Hopefully someone will get locked in this time. Oh good, you thought to put a door in. Yeah. <laughs> the bear's going into the food storage, oh no! Man, no! Get out! The oh, bear heard you. Yeah, the pile of clothing in the middle of the dining floor is a good touch. I may have built like a really inefficient colony, but like whatever. I'm not some kind of Rimworld expert or anything. Well, no one's died yet, so I mean, plus. Yeah. Okay. So, electric stove. Electric boobaloo. And the butcher's table. So, target temperature is minus 19 degrees Celsius. It's going to be very cold in that fridge. I was going to say, because that's, that's very chilly. Well, that's a freezer, not a fridge. Well, yeah. Is that still cold for a freezer? No, that's about right. It's a little bit Is cold. It? Okay. I apologize. I'm on the, the useless uh, Imperial system. Novel, what, night. Novel, what were you night. getting mad at? Insulted, not Abby. <sighs> dum, dum, dum. would do such a thing. I know, right? <laughs> ah, you shouldn't tell us work in the fields there. No, that's Quism. Sorry, I got the two confused there. Now, the, the chill walked right through it. That was the joke. Yeah, our rice fields are ready. Delicious. Yeah. Bear seemed angry about something. Just hear distant rifle shots. It <laughs> sound of power drills and gunshots. Si space. So I'm going to delete that stockpile. Oh no, the stockpile. Why is the chinchilla eating one of our fancy meals? They deserve it. Stop it. Are you gonna take it away from them? That's just mean. Let her eat. And Chilla's gotta eat. Uh, you may wonder why I'm putting a stool in front of all of the crafting benches. It's because it makes them more efficient because people don't have to do it standing and they're a bit more comfortable. Ah. Uh. This is in America, I see. I have a job where I stand all the time and it sucks. So having a stool would be nice. Okay, we can make clothes now. Oh, we can make cowboy hats. 
Oh my god, that, give everyone a cowboy hat. Priority? Yes. I mean, we could make uh, give the chinchilla a cowboy hat. Or parkas. Or pants. Fuck pants. So what should we make? Should we give everybody cowboy hats? Yes. 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 I know. Let chat vote. Cowboy hats or something useful. Okay, fifteen cowboy hats. Do it. <laughs> you Maybe you cannot. Like a hat. You cannot a bear a hat. A bear with a hat. You cannot get you cowboy you, hat. That's why you put the hat with a bear. See. Yeah, there's 15 of us. Actually, there's 14. You can save an extra for trading. Oh, Chrism's talking. I like, I like, I like the idea that you get somebody new in your colony. You're like, and here's your cowboy hat. somebody would like to draw the bear with a hat, then it will <laughs> have a hat in some form. Yep. What am I doing? I'm, I've I'm lost myself, too. So, I'm going to put a refrigerator in the dining room. And that is where meals will go. Hooray! Food! iPhone's just alone in the dining room. I love those <laughs> games. Alone in the dining room. God, the Alone in the Dark series, I was going to say got really shit, but it started out pretty shit. It's just we didn't know any better because it was the 90s. Every yeah, time I, I hear... Do an adventure game bad to start with. Yeah. Every time I hear Alone in the Dark, I just think of the good old Nick show, Are You Afraid of the Dark? And just assume it's the same thing. Rose is butchering, but she's... What? How far are you going? Jesus Christ, lady, it's just a bunny. Get the bunny. She's a bit huge Con Air fan. The thing that I love is that there's a non-zero number of people who will have watched Con Air because of Homestuck. There's a non-zero number of people who've listened to ICP because of Homestuck. Yeah. I think that's where I heard about ICP to begin with. And it was pretty yeah. non-plus with Homestuck, so it didn't really matter to me. Okay, let's give all of our colonists a light in their room. Hey! You've been good colonists, and you've earned light. I think maybe lights in like the dining room and stuff would be nice. Oh yeah, I think nah. that would be Chinchilla, no, it's too cold for you. Actually, you're built for the cold. Never mind. <laughs> That's why you have They're all that fluff. They're built for cold, not so much wet. It's not wet in the freezer. No, but, like, you don't get chinchillas wet. Do that. Yeah, if you consider inventing windows. Uh, you can't. I'm pretty sure there are no windows. I bet there's a mod to add windows. Good. 
but they're not just like a glass wall. <laughs> you mean a window? I think that's what that is. Yeah, yeah. you're describing a window. <laughs> <laughs> could it? Could it? They have a wall, but you know, like see through. I'm thinking of a wall, but like, if there wasn't a wall. Like, there still is a wall, but like, what if there wasn't? <laughs> what if it was just like a hole? But it blocked stuff from coming in, except you can see through. <laughs> this whole line of thinking is really stupid. Yep. Was Turbo's clothing still just sitting in the dining room? Yeah. <laughs> Can you give them, like, closets or something? No. I was gonna say that's gonna be entirely useless. Torpo Ball there. Fortress is way better than this game. Somebody's been fishing uh -huh. and just left the corpse of a fish here. Corpse of a fish. You mean a fish? Yeah, but it's a dead one. Fair. Um, hey, before you go to bed. Okay, she has been exchanging pleasantries with people, training grizzly bears, and yeah, she's friends with whoever this is. I forget. Yeah, building rapport with bears is very important in this colony. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Zarnold's up to. Had a brief exchange with Grimlock about the less fortunate. It's not that he liked it, Zarnold, it's just that he didn't particularly care. make kibble until we have ten to train the bear with. Train the bear. Yeah, Torpo's a nudist. Uh, he, he's, his pants are there. As you can see, he's been slowly abandoning. Oh, look! People are starting to wear the hats. <laughs> Now, I have a very important question. Okay. Did Corpo wear a hat, or will that not be good for I wonder. <laughs> Paul Power asks exactly the same. I'm part. not sure if Torpo will wear a hat. I mean, I think a hat is more of an accessory. I won't say, I won't call, count it as clothing, but... We'll I'm find out wondering. together, friends. This is it. This is important. If anything we have done, this is it. This is science. Noom. According to the wiki, Miles says. Oh, nudists are fine with hats. Great. Then Topo oh. will be naked except for a hat. Perfect. Oh, I thought Rose was shooting the bear for a sec there. I was about to be very mad. Like, that's not how you fish. Not Ebby, what's wrong with you? Oh, it's too warm in here. It's the hat. Dracula is saying kind words to people. I 
like how Novel just like hauls in a full deer corpse. Okay, we need to improve these rooms a little bit. What would make these less depressing to live in? Hmm. Um, don't know what kind of decoration or happy thing can you give them. Like, can you put any kind of? Can they have any kind of storage in their rooms? You can have a filing cabinet. Not if that counts. <laughs> what I think. What I think. Relaxation. I think filing cabinets. They can have a tiny table. That's a start. Or an end table with a lamp on it. Or a dresser. Like how... Dresser. I just like how... One of the persons in rooms, I don't know which one, has two rocks in it, though. So. Um... Can you put the dresser in sideways? Yes, but won't that make the bed inaccessible? I don't know. You know what I've I'm done gonna it before. Do? I'm gonna put plant pots. I suppose that's a... yeah. I mean, a thing to do would be instead of, um, uh, 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 blah, 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 putting stuff in these tiny, tiny rooms is, I don't know, maybe make, uh, bigger rooms for them? I got lost. There I am. There. Everybody gets plant pods. Oh. Internet. Internet? Yeah, so I don't know if that was me or you, but there was just a bit of a moment there. Okay, it might have been me. And then we'll give everybody an end table as well. Oh. Tables and plants. What else do you need? Yeah. I love that the, um, oh, look at that hat. Awful quality. Who made it? <sighs> Stylish yet rugged. Nice. I don't know who made that. Um... Oh, I wanted to put a stone cutter's table here. Ah, so we can start some conspiracies. Wait, wrong masons, sorry. Fantastic. Took me longer than it should have done to realize that, like, the stonecutters in The Simpsons was, like, a direct Mason's word joke. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I I don't think I got it until I saw their logo, and I'm like, all right, yeah, now I get it. Yeah. There we go. That's the fun. That's the fun he's always here to watch a TV for. Hey, Chrism's making hats and talking to Rose. Let's see, Chrism, what are you up to? I thought you said making hats and talking to them. <laughs> Share deep thoughts on inventing things with Novel. Ambrosia Sprout. Dang. Cool. So, those bushes um, provide fruit, uh, that is, it makes people very happy, and it's also extremely addictive. Perfect. The drugs. Hey kids. Don't We're here to do... rap with you. Don't do a drugs. Drugs. 
If you're gonna do a drug, make sure it's a good one. Okay, not Abby, what's wrong with you? Grimlock, drugs are not Pokemon. Eh. See, Grimlock's having fun just playing with his plant. We're still talking about drugs. What kind of, yeah, yeah, what kind of plant is this? Okay, the environment is apparently still ugly. <laughs> um, that's quite the statement. I mean, you haven't even done too much to it, right? Yeah, is, 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 uh, Nebby pissed off because they haven't punched another rabbit in a while? Oh, it's cramped, that's why. So the tiny little rooms are now causing problems. Little yeah. bit. <laughs> well, yes, that's the problem. They're little. So, should probably start making better houses? No, yes. Before everyone goes insane and does a murder. One murder. Everybody's insane. One murder. One murder, please. I would they like all, none They of all those. take turn. Yeah. Well, you know, probably make sure they don't do a murder. Project Door Room. <laughs> yeah, I will make I the mean... rooms better at some point, but for now. They're good the amount of room, the amount of room that the average student can survive in is, frankly, a miracle. <laughs> Not murder with left feet. That mm. that joke is probably one of my favorite. Okay. Yeah, how, how's everyone doing kind of overall here? They're doing pretty okay, actually. They're a little cramped, but that's okay. Are they, are they cramped because you decided to put a flower pot and a table in their room? No, it's just the size of the room. Okay. Yeah, we need something fun for these guys to do. So let's make a, put... ski, make a ski ball table. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Let's see what I can. Let's see. Could make a billiards <laughs> table, but I don't have any cloth. I mean, you're really pushing for the murders, aren't you there? How about chess? Oh, if get, no, if you put chest down, that's gonna cause murder. No, that's Monopoly. Yeah, that's fine. fair. That's, yeah. Okay, let's get more chairs in here, actually. Wait, is, is Ebby, is Ebby, uh, not Ebby, I suppose, actually bloodthirsty in the game, or? Yeah. Cause I, I haven't seen the character sheets of these. I don't I don't know what, what they have done to themselves. <laughs> so so is Evie's plan is just to make make their character in the game absolutely like a trash human to murder and kill everybody. But well, that just to bring themselves up in the real world, be like, no, see? No, because Nebby also has the kind trait. Yeah, bloodthirsty <laughs> also doesn't necessarily mean so. People. What you're saying is, they will kill you with kindness. Um, so what just happened here was Torpo went into the kitchen completely naked, looked around for a bit, and then left. Okay. I told you, don't be naked in a kitchen. It's not the best place for that. Twitchy, my friend. Bah! 
please. You're too Bears big. Bear just wants, wants to sit the head of the table. I mean, Bear probably does get, like, pride of place on, like, the, the head of the table. Because really, who's going to argue with her? Hmm. In fact, let's see how her training is going. Okay, she's yeah. now, she's trained to attack on command now. Whereas before, it was just whatever they felt like. Uh, yeah. Basically, she would only attack things <laughs> that her... Um, oh, shit. That her master is attacking. I really wish I could draw, because I would totally just draw this bear at the head of the table wearing a cowboy hat. Great. Now I'm thinking of uh, what? What was it? Is it Kuma from Tekken? Because that bear actually has a uh, is on the board of directors. Oh, with the little like the little tied-on hat that it has. Yeah, yeah. There's a suit in one of the games. That they they gave the bear a suit. Pretty good. I I love Tekken, but I've never really played many of the games. It's true. Bear has no master. Bears, their own stuff. Wait, what? What is this stuff? Oh, kibble. <laughs> you forgot that you did that. That's a lot of kibble, though. I only said. You told them to make as much as they could before going on to something else. So apparently, they made everything. Like just let, let's. How much, how much kibble do you got there? I can't quite see the screen. Uh, 200. Yeah, that's a lot. That's, um, does the chinchilla also eat kibble? No, because it's meat. Is kibble meat? Yeah, it's a mixture of meat and plant. Alright, fair enough. Maybe that's why we have low food, because we were using it all to make kibble. <laughs> 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 what a fantastic solution. There you go. You've we discovered. take better care of our animals and our people. No, you take better care of the bear than anyone else. That's true. I mean, I'll agree. It's a good plan. To be, to be fair, if I was just freshly stuck on a brand new planet and I looked around at my fellow crewmates and one of them was a bear, I'd be like, I'm going to make sure that bear's the happiest one of us. Yeah. Wait, nudists are too closed? What? Oh, uh, is it not the, over the, the hat? Oh, no, the, the, uh, the shirt got picked up or something. The pants did. Did they have to get clothes for warmth? Possibly. That, that was it. Because they went in the freezer, didn't they? Yes. Yeah, just, just imagine the thought that, you know, you take off your clothes and just throw it in the middle of the dining hall. And then, like, a week later, you're like, I'm getting kind of cold. Where'd I put my pants? Oh, that's right. I threw them in the middle of the dining hall. Yeah, Topo's not wearing any pants or anything. Just, just a jacket. And eventually a cowboy hat. <laughs> Maybe that will keep them warm. Anyway, we're researching bre brewing. Oh no. No, no. Mm. That's not gonna go well for anyone involved. It'll be fine. Hey, look at all this rice we've got. Immediately turn it into kibble. <laughs> or immediately turn it into feed for the uh, chinchilla. Bear, what are you doing? 
Where is Bear? Oh, Bear's Bear is getting snacks. Bear's hanging out in the freezer for some reason. He's just he's just chilling. He got a little hot. He should chill us here too. I like how the chinchilla and the bear appear to be friends. Wait, that's another bear. Wait, that's it. Oh shit! Wait, was the bear that was in your in your food storage was that your bear? I don't know. That that bear's on a mission. Oh no! For a second, I thought it was. That's not a rival at all. I dropped my glasses. Don't worry, you're not missing much. It's just bear uh, luck. Okay. Well, we're gonna get more bears, I guess. Perfect. Yep, lady bear. That could have gone horribly, and that went, you know, kind of sweet. Sort of, maybe. Yeah, owl bear is a lady bear, and is probably pregnant right now. Uh, where did she go? Yeah, up. She went up. That's not her. She went up by the ice fields, I think. Okay. The heavens have bestowed upon us an oyster. Holy! Like a what lot the of hell oysters. Is that? Don't trust space oysters. Wait, was that what? What? What was that that just happened? Cargo pods. And it hit the side of your house there, huh? Mm-hmm. Safe, sane. So how's the grizzly bear doing? What's the uh, stats after? She's fine. Not the stats, the uh, story. But... I'm gonna make you aware it is ten to eleven, Jerry. Oh shit. Um, Go to bed. Yeah, an orbital oyster strike. Jesus. Chinchilla, stop eating things straight out the freezer. Oh, we've got a pair of foxes here. Hooray! Let's see what other animals we have. We haven't really... Squirrels? There's rats. Some blood happened. Don't fight the foxes. Grimlock, no. Turkey. More turkey. That's uh, a lot of blood there. Boom rat. Which, you know, don't fight them. They will explode. Why is that a thing? That fox is dead. Space. No! I guess it just lost a bunch of blood somehow, like down the back of the couch or something, and fell over. Yep. Well, that's a lot of blood, so I guess that's that. That's Is there. We've got a timber wolf. There's an alpaca. Are those big boom rats? Yeah. What are I, those things? I nearly said some walking sausages, but what I meant was wild boar. You're not wrong. Man, it's my. They're bomb chews. I'm very bad at you, Mahomet. <laughs> uh, Proud, wolf. but bad. Man, remember that herd of elephants? Being wistful for the elephant herd? We've got a little herd of alpacas here. I like how the animals just kind of stop and then fo just flop. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here. More goats. A dead book. And a dead doe. So, a deer. But yeah, we have plenty of animals around. Look at these. I still 
like that one bit from The Simpsons when they were like driving in the car to save Bart from whatever in some sort of garden, and Homer inadvertently runs over a deer statue. So of course he says "doe." Lisa says "a deer," and Marge points out a female deer. Nailed it. I guess. Yep. I guess this male. Yeah, I guess this male grizzly bear has just decided that he lives here now. Well, are you going to tell them not to? No. I would prefer not to argue with a bear. The book stuffed. Look at all these cowboy hats that nobody's wearing because they're too shit. <laughs> okay. Good so, place to stop? Yeah, the space oysters were... Spoisters. Yeah. I can't put a hat on a bear, guys. <laughs> I will see if I can look into a mod that lets you equip animals with things. So, how do you think that went, friends? Totally fine, with no problems. The best. Well, nobody's dead yet, which is good. Yeah. True. Hopefully it's a bonus. Yeah. Um, so, May, what are we doing tomorrow? Do you have plans? Um, I didn't have any plan particularly. I might... Might try Dark Souls again, but that... Oh, excuse me. That needs the right... Tilt-proof move, mood. Hmm. Um... We could always do more house flippers. Or, hey, May, what are you wanting to do this weekend? Um, I mean, geez, that maybe I could play Super Robot Wars X, for yeah. example. Maybe we could do that. Yeah, should we do uh, that? We should do that. That came in the post today, by the way. Yeah, you said. The fact that I'm even talking to any of you people is. <laughs> That's a true testament of our bond. It's true. This is why I named our colony Kingdom Hearts, because May made a sacrifice. Uh, no, I don't think May finished Battletech. I haven't finished Battletech yet, no. You should continue that, though, and I should upload them. I should upload a lot of things. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Joe just doesn't like Battletech, so it's hard to justify streaming it. Because otherwise it's just Joey sits and hates the game for a little bit. Hooray. Yeah, and it's I don't even hate it in a funny way like I do with Kingdom Hearts. Okay, let's save and quit to menu. Yeah. Woo. But yeah. So, so Good yeah, night, folks. That was fun. Let's go away. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. All right. Bye, Good internet. Good night. Hang out.